After a slow start, the Indian monsoon seems to be moving ahead full steam. Here's all you need to know about the monsoon so far in a neat 5-point package. The monsoon got off to a slow start. Much of the country was yet to receive rainfall until mid-June. But since then, the pulses propelling rain clouds have been stronger. Most of the country has seen good rainfall as the clouds have continued to move northwards. Folks at the IMD have informed that the monsoon has settled down and the synoptic activity responsible for the Indian monsoon has been showing a good shape. Ideal after two years of consecutive drought. After a delay of about a week for onset at Kerala, monsoon has gained ground and arrived in the north more or less on schedule towards the end of June, beginning of July. According to the latest estimates, the monsoon clouds have further picked speed and reached parts of northwest India and Pakistan before schedule. As mentioned, most of the country has received good rainfall so far this year, with 30 of the 36 meteorological substations having recorded at least normal rains, and 11 of those have registered rainfall excess of 20% above the average. While beginning of June saw rains in the mainly southern peninsula and Konkan region, action has shifted northwards since then. The last two weeks have seen extremely heavy downpours in Madhya Pradesh, interior Maharashtra, parts of Rajasthan and also in the hill states of Himachal Pradesh and Uttarakhand. The heavy rains have pushed the rainfall over the country as a whole to a 4% above normal after being 11% below normal just last week. Water levels in reservoirs have begun to rise and are slowly registering storage above critical levels. The monsoons though have still been a bit of a start-stop affair in the eastern and northeastern states of the country. Cumulatively, the region has received 23% below normal rains, although the deficit has been reducing over the past two weeks. Western regions of Gujarat and Saurashtra have also recorded below normal rain so far. While above normal rainfall is good for the most part, it has also wreaked havoc across many districts in the country. Flood prone areas in the northeast, like some parts of Assam, have once again been inundated as the Brahmaputra swells despite deficient rains. The hill states have seen some of the devastating flash floods over the past two weeks. More than 12 people were killed by flash floods and landslides in Uttarakhand. Following that, torrential rains in parts of Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra and eastern Rajasthan have also killed close to 30 people. Sporadic reports of floods have come out of North Interior Karnataka, Telangana and Andhra Pradesh in the southern peninsula. In several districts across the country, rains have come as tempestuous downpours that have caused floods rather than as evenly distributed showers. There has been high incidence of extreme rain events in July, with more than 100 mm of rains experienced. With heavy rains both in the Indo-Gangetic Plains as well as over the hill states, many rivers have swollen beyond their danger zone and flooding has been reported from districts in Uttarakhand, Uttar Pradesh, Assam and Rajasthan. At least 21 people have been reported to have been killed due to flooding in the four states, while 30 villages have been reportedly submerged due to floods on the banks of the river Kosi in Bihar. Flood-like situations are expected in the coming days around Delhi, Uttar Pradesh and Bihar. Rainfall activity in the coming week is expected to shift eastwards with above normal rains expected in the east and northeast of the country, which might help to further reduce the rain deficit in the region. Widespread heavy rainfall has been predicted across West Bengal, Odisha, Bihar, Jharkhand and the entire northeastern region till the end of the week. According to IMD's numerical prediction model, Rain-bearing winds from Bay of Bengal are expected to hit the east coast in Andhra Pradesh after 23rd July. While the southern peninsula is set to receive normal rainfall over the coming weeks, central and western India will see subdued rainfall according to the latest forecast. Way back in April, the IMD had predicted surplus rains in July and August. Their predictions have been spot on so far and it's likely that the surplus rains will continue in August. Although this was needed following the consecutive strong droughts, too much of a good thing can also mean doom. Especially for farmers, the month of August will be critical in determining how productive this year's monsoon will be. And there is a need to be extremely cautious. There is a high possibility of floods in the hill states, in several densely populated urban regions, as well as in the Indo-Gangetic floodplains in North and Central India. These would pose a grave danger to agricultural output and farmers would be well advised to be prepared for deluges. The same holds for cities across mainland India. If the preparedness on display in July is anything to go by, we can be sure to expect several more stories of inundated roads and flooded buildings.